Okay, let's go into the fray. We are going this way. What is down here? Call me curious. Let's see. Oh my god, this does not seem safe. Oh wait, this is the entry room, isn't it? No? No, that's the isolation ward. What the heck is the isolation ward? Okay, oh, it goes lower down. Oh my god, what the hell is this? Holy, this is creepy. Like it's just, it's like a, it doesn't go down, it's like a jail cell. They did. It's literally like a jail cell. Holy moly. Alex will explain the rest of us uh, later. Oh my god. 
What is this? What do I have? Oh, oh, what are those? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's. Oh, yeah. Wait, I need to see. When he comes back around, let's go. Just. <laughs> do that. I'll record you. Do it. I'll tell you when he comes. Okay, yeah. Right here. Here we come. Yeah, hey, go around. Go around? Hey, go around. So weird. It's a, it's a window here. That is really clear glass. I know, right? That doesn't look like a window. You almost ran into it. Yeah. That's not a window. <laughs> 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 How did you do that? How did it knock? Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, Oh, my God. Yeah, because Chris, we, we thought it was a window. Yeah, I was walking. I, I was like, wait, wait. He was like, wait, is that? <laughs> wait, so what's an isolation award? Okay, so let me explain it. All right, so Chris asks, what's an isolation award? Well, I was just telling you. You step into the rope room. Oh, yeah. Wait, what, what, what is this room? Rope room. Ah, it's creepy. 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 Yeah, there's something up about that rope room. That's like, really creepy. Helms, there would have been two automatic helms as those right there, and then the uh, manual helm would have been that one right there. Uh, and of course, there were helms all over the ship, so uh, there was multiple ways to get steer the ship in case one helm went down. There was even a helm uh, at the, uh, the uh, far rear of the ship, so that way when they were uh, coming into port, uh, a uh, the staff captain would be back there, and in case he really needed to make an immediate adjustment to the uh, direction of the ship, he could have the helm way back there to steer it. So that's how it all works. These are the telephone systems for communicating with the different uh, parts of the ship that they needed. And uh, this says chart room. So they would have kept the charts and the navigation equipment. Oh, you're right. I want the original. They're, they're, they're definitely not opened. It would be all gone if it was open. <laughs> oh. You get oh, yeah. four people in there? That's crazy. And it was climbing up the hill. <laughs> yeah, it was all it was all rum, 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 rum. How much time do we have? We've got fifteen. Oh. Yeah. They were planning to turn her into an aircraft carrier. That's terrible. That means they're gonna take out all the funnels. And oh my god. No. Luckily yeah. not. Sorry, I'll look at it later. I'm at the queen area. I don't know. I want to sit in. Where's the chair? The chair's gone. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's a chair. It's on chair. Yeah. Hoi. One hand. Okay.
first view. Oh, oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> <laughs> and like I told you to record earlier, right? Now I came, yes. <laughs> I came 45 seconds early. That was crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> I was preparing my ears for it too. I was humming to myself. Oh my god. I, I, I was so I was loud. On the thing and it was, it was Art Deco. I'm like, yes, it is. It's the Arctic. Arctic. Yeah, swimming pool. It's really creepy. Oh god. <laughs> Oh, it's oh, wow. too wide. No. Oh, that's creepy. I gotta turn my hat on. Wow. Your bad lighting does nothing to my camera. <laughs> that is. I can see everything. Way too creepy. I can see everything. It's. It's like haunted. There's water in it. No, it's just lights. Oh, it's lights? Yeah. Come on, see inside. I can't see inside. Wow. That's pretty eerie. That's very yeah. eerie. Maybe make it like a Halloween thing. Okay, so this would have been the great hoop. Over here. Like war room or what it was called. Oh, there's so much more back there too. Can I see it? There's a lot more back there, it's still a window. See? I think that's the engine room actually. Yeah, that's the engine room. There's probably there's probably access to it. I just want to go to the boiler room. Boiler. Yes. Thank you. 
Mary really the way they word it, it looks like they can touch it, right? Look. Yeah, I know. I, I read it. Oh my god, I was like, oh. I, 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 you may touch it. They should just say, they should just say, no touching. You may wish to touch. Scary. Oh my god, it's scary. Oh. Christmas. Ho, 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 this is creepy. Do you see the Christmas room, Steve? Yeah. <laughs> There's Alex. Okay. Oh, this is way bigger than I remember it. Wow. Oh, it's creaking. Oh, it's scary. Okay. I'm surprised. It's really brightly lit in here. I thought it would be like a lot darker. I'm surprised. What, where, where are you? Where? I don't see you. Oh, I see you. Hello. Hi. Ow. Oh, I have a funny bone. They close what? The what? Oh, no. Main condenser. I have no idea what half the stuff is. <laughs> it's crazy. Mm -hmm. I know in the military, they, they said after a month, e even though they look so confusing, it, it like all the valves and stuff basically become your extended arms. Because you, you work on it so much. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. That's creepy. What? This is very scary. Oh, this is a door. And Steve, yeah, it's, it's only half of the engine room. They cut off the other half, and then they have the boiler room too. Yeah. It's crazy. Down we go, deeper into the yonder. Oh my lord, this goes deep. What is that? 
original catwalks. See, there's Chris right there, and he's got his camera. These are original catwalks that allow the engineers and the engine staff to walk around the steam turbines. Alex, you think this is a catwalk right here? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that, yeah, that looks like a catwalk. That is sketchy. And this, and this is hot steam too, so like you fall yes. back. All this whole room would have been really hot, and you know, steam would have kind of leaked through some of the fittings and stuff. This looks like a, uh, some kind of box. First interim turbine pressure. What's the, what's this? In, interim pressure turbine exhaust. Intermediate. Intermediate pressure turbine exhaust. Oh, it is so dark in there, oh my god. Oh, see, this is... Okay, so you can kind of see, these are the blades of one of the turbines, and this would have exhausted so out dark. here, come down this chute, and then into somewhere probably removed in order to make way for this catwalk. I can't even but, see, I can't even see that. That's so dark. But that is amazing. You can see the blades of the turbine right there. It's all painted orange, but that's oh. incredible. And then, wow. this is, oh. this is another turbine. Wow. Yeah, I know, crazy. And look, people used to be running down, uh, Steve, people used to be running down there too. Really love this. Look at, look at how. Uh, is this the flywheel? No, it's turning gear. Oh, it's a turning gear. Okay. Oh. It's even darker over here. Yeah. My camera's making everything so bright, but it's incredible. It's really dark, and so yeah, it's really dark in some places. Water's gone too. It's good. <clears throat> Used to be up to the pipes. Now it's all gone. Oh, the camera can see it too. It's really hard to see down there. Oh. This is the stuff my brother when loves. He on ships. So he, they do instead of steam, it's natural gas. Natural gas. So he does all the. I see. It's crazy. This is crazy. What? Look at all the rust. 
rest of it. Oh, wow, Jesus. That is crazy. So this was full of water. Probably was. My lord. That's nuts. Uh, I, don't know if you can, I don't know if your camera can see this, Alex, but it's all like rusted down here. I know, I'm trying to point the camera at it, but my, my camera can't see you wanna, it. You, you want to use my screen? <laughs> I don't know if my camera can see it. Let me see. Okay, punch in. Closer. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Wow. It's all rusted. Slowly. <laughs> yeah, slowly. <laughs> <laughs> Who's thoughtful? Put that there. Can you imagine put, like, put that all, there. The, all the plumbers that had to install the piping and stuff? It's just like, how do you know where to put what? Put the power outlet. Oh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> they, could charge, they could charge the iPhones and play like in like tunes. The windows is a light in there. That's true. I think that's the other side. Something yeah. In there. Here. So there's something down there, too. Oh, Oh, yeah. Let's go back around because there's stuff to see on the other side too. Yeah. This is amazing. I'm sure my brother's like, this is nothing. <laughs> this is child's play. Yeah. What, is that? what the heck is that? So people, people climb down there? That's scary. You think people actually go through there and just, you know, do stuff? Well, yeah, but you also have to remember this catwalk we're on didn't exist back then. That's true. So it probably would have been a nice big opening. That's true. What? What is it? An escalator. Yeah, yeah it's because, uh... Look, you oh, wait, 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 you hear that? Yeah, I hear water. Yeah, wait. <laughs> That's the bathroom. You think so? The bathroom's upstairs. See this hose? This is a modern water hose. Ah. Uh, not like a garden hose, but just a hose. Oh, so that's modern, so we're probably listening to something that's normal. I see. Look, you guys, there's an escalator for the engineers to get up and down <laughs> through this area. Whoa. <laughs> so fancy. <laughs> Such old technology. Oh, this is it? Oh, escalator's kind of old technology. Oh, wow, a CRT TV would have been in there. <laughs> So we've been playing the, uh, the thing about the so thing. I was watching, you have to remember that this tour that we're walking, this, this catwalk we're walking on is part of a tour that's existed since the 70s. So there would have been things set up here for people to enjoy their tour. So not all of it is 100% old. Some of it is brand new. Um, they have pumping mechanisms. You know, same thing that they use for sewage. You know? Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's what the garden hose is for. Pumping. Oh my gosh, look at, all, look at all the black spots in the wall. What in the world is this? Spots that they painted. I think so. Oh, you're right. <laughs> we didn't see the, the boiler room though. Uh. The engine room is that it continues. Emergency exit home. Thank you for the narration. It's like a tar. This, you can tell these things haven't been raining a long time. Yeah, you're right. So, Winston, I guess this way. Yeah. Hello? Oh, okay. More stuff. Oh. Where's the propeller? Uh, somewhere. Oh, this, is the, um, this is the electrical room. Oh. So I can see the shipping down here too? Yeah, and the captain calls down through the tube. There's mm. no tube. Where's the tube? Somewhere. Right here. Pretty sure it was. I was like, where is that coming from? Right there. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. Yes. Oh, wait, no. That's not. You know what this is? It's a rudder system, right? This is the rudder system. Okay, I gotta talk about this. Well, rudder, the rudder system. Oh, this is the ram right here. It goes. Dum, dum. Yeah. yeah. There were two of them. And that's the nut 
which holds the propeller onto the shaft. That's crazy. So that's just the cap. Like, we're going to have to go into the propeller room. You want to go in? the only preserved propeller left from the cleaner. Oh. Oh, I spooky. There it is. Oh. This is one of four propellers that were on the clean air. As you can see, that's the side of the ship right next to us. Um, they were in a room that was built outside of the ship um, in order to preserve this propeller in a tank of fresh water. Not salt water, fresh water. And uh, the propeller was in a um, was it grass. Grass, maybe? I, 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 don't, I really don't know. No, Yeah, it's probably like, it's like at least. I know. <laughs> pennies. It's crazy. Look at that. It's probably like uh, maybe seven of you, Steve. That's crazy. It's probably seven of you sizes. That's humongous. Just can just boop. See? Tiny. Hey, Steve. Like it's super, it's super tiny. I can, I can, I can grab it. <laughs> you can just grab it my finger. <laughs> yeah, nothing. <laughs> what? You see anybody's phones down there? No. Oh, you're hilarious. We did. It is. Imagine this thing spinning like uh, like, like, like oh, 100 yeah. RPM. I think it it did um it did like 24 revolutions per second. Really? Yes, it was fast. No way it can be that fast. That's way too fast. You know, you'd think so, but it wasn't. It was like oh man. Let me see. Let me try to find it for you. We we can't we can't we can't search on here. It's too uh Oh yeah, well, my phone doesn't even show what. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, after we're going to come on a cruise, it was like 24 revolutions. I want to, oh, yeah, I want to see the, oh, this is, this is even worse, it's creepy. It looks like this would be a huge thing to explain what I'm talking about. Used to be, used to be a what? Looks like there used to be something. Guessing that's a Halloween decoration. <laughs> Not exactly. <laughs> kind of. Um, so for the first one. Ooh. Oh wow. So I'm guessing all these speakers are for the uh, ghost tour, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a lot of water. Oh. We are currently inside of Queen Mary's water softening plant. Now she had uh, water tanks that held 100,000 gallons of fresh water. And that's water brought on board the ship prior to disembarking from the shore. It was for drinking water and in preparation purposes. But in addition to that, the Queen Mary also... Oh. All right, we are currently in boiler room number one out of five. It's the smallest of our boiler rooms, and it housed three double scotch boilers. Those are cylindrical in design. There would have been one boiler here in the center, another one over on the starboard side, and a third on the port side here. Our boilers in this room, they were producing steam, which would torch for the generators to produce the electricity that we use during the voyages. And these rooms are operated in a pressurized capacity. The pressure levels were more intense than an airplane cabin and it was designed to maintain the optimal performance of the boilers themselves. The pressure levels between boiler rooms vary. So to move from one boiler room to the next, you'd have to pass through an airlock system. Oh. Mm -hmm. so yeah, no coal on board the ship. Whoa. Oh. Yes. That's why the Titanic sank. It was one of the many reasons that ship sank. <laughs> no, it sank because it's bunker number five was on fire, and the captain didn't want to slow down because that 
bought coal from every other ship in Belfast before they left. And they found in 2017, they found an album that documented everything, a fire on board before she left. He didn't, he was trying to set a street record. Furthermore, mm -hmm. the bunker yes. was on fire. He didn't have enough coal to get to New York. That's why it didn't slow down. Mm -hmm. They painted the ship at night. If you look at the new photographs they found in 2017, they actually went out at night. Because right now, and overhead there's a large walkway, and of course there's this network of pipes here as well. All of that is part of the Ghosts and Legends tour. None okay. of it is original. Uh. So it wasn't down here during the voyages. Instead, you just had massive boiler tanks in here. But over here along the wall, again, is the remnants of an original catwalk and some ladders, and this is how very sparse they were. There were networks of these that ran throughout these entire spaces, multiple levels over and above the boilers, some that went between them, ones that ran along the walls like this, and then ones that even went underneath them. That is how our crew members had to uh, get around these spaces. And another one of the hazards of working here was you had to be careful not to lose your balance on these catwalks. <laughs> our ship, she moved quite a bit in the water. Stabilizers were not put on the Queen Mary until 1958. And the Queen Mary actually rolled side to side, port to starboard, back and forth, up to 20 degrees each direction. And that was normal during voyages. Because of that, our passengers actually nicknamed the ship the Rolling Mary. <laughs> And the bow of the ship can also lurch up and down through the waves. We are in the forward end, so all of that would affect So this room is turbo generator room number one out of two. And these two rooms are responsible for producing the electricity that the Queen Mary used during her voyages. The first boiler room we were in, the smaller one, that produced the steam that went to our generators. Now, this particular room is responsible for the power needs for the passenger areas of the ship. Ballrooms, salons, dining rooms, cabins, staterooms, and suites as well as the galleys on board because we prepared the food for our passengers in the kitchens. The second turbo generator room, that is located uh, in the middle of the ship, a little bit further back, and that was producing the electricity for all of the crew spaces, for all of these decks down below, and uh, powering 250 auxiliary motors we had on board the ship. Now this room has three generators, or had three generators in it, Pretty much where we're standing, this whole center of the port side, there was one generator. There was a second one in the center, and a third one all the way over on the starboard side. The second generator room had four generators in it because it's in a wider part of the ship and it could accommodate an extra one. Each generator produced 91 kilowatts of electricity every hour. In a 24-hour period of time, our generators produced enough electricity to power a city of 100,000 people. On a different walk this way. Ooh. So out of all the tours you've done, what's your favorite tour to uh, to do? This one, okay. Uh, we've only been offering this tour since July 2018. I see. It's the newest one that we have, and it, I think it fills in a void of something we're missing. Like a history tour. Is I need to the moon. What do you guys want to drink? You guys can stay there. What? No, I'm no, we're going. Oh, look, sorry. It is so dark. They turned off. Yeah, but I am the controller of light. <laughs> I, can, I can see all. Let me see. Oh, don't use a flashlight. That's not. That's not fun. We were just here. Yeah, we were. Can I see the floor? I can see the floor still. I can. <laughs> it's crazy. I can see the floor. It's crazy. It looks completely different at night, doesn't it, Steve? I know. Right? It's crazy. It's scary. Where's Alex? I don't know. We lost Alex. We'll just sit here. Yeah. Oh, I won't go any deeper. Damn.
Warren? OK. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit different from upstairs, isn't it? Yeah, we are now in the boiler rooms. This is the area where steam was created to power the engines to work the ship. Um, now, there's been no reported deaths down here, but there seems to be a lot of activity. I'm guessing a lot of it's residual energy or people coming back to a place where they worked. Quite a few people have reported hearing the sound of someone working down here when there's been no one down here. And I personally have experienced this. September 2018, I was down here with a tour and all of us heard it, the sound of hammering coming from somewhere around here. No one down here, apart from the tour group I had with me. So that was quite interesting. I can't explain it, I think. Maybe it's just someone coming back to a place they used to work. But yeah, interesting experience. Let's move on a bit further. Yes. Yes. Oh, this is the pair of mo room they use for the thing. Yeah, the the, 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 yeah, the safe room. Oh, yes. Go deeper, deeper into the fray. No, they know. Oh, it's not blue. Whoa. Whoa. Sorry for swinging the camera over because it is literally pitch black in here, so I can't see. Sh shoot. Whoa. Look at this humongous. What is this? My is it's really cool. No, we didn't get to go in here. That's crazy. No, we didn't. Really? We did? I think we stopped back there, didn't we? Yeah, we, you didn't see this. This is, this is new. Yeah, we're going deeper. We are deep. Oops, sorry. As you squeeze up a bit more, because my voice will disappear into the heavens down here. <laughs> Anyone here ever watch Ghost Adventures? Yes. Yeah, a few of you do. About seven months ago, we had one of the investigators from that show here, and he was doing, it wasn't a film thing, it was an investigation with a group of people, and I was here as a historical advisor. We went to different parts of the ship, including down here in the boiler rooms. Now at one point he said he saw a figure. He was up there, can you see where that door is with the light behind it? He said he saw a figure up there. Uh, I did not see that figure. I was looking the other way. But something I heard, and everyone else heard, was the sound of knocking somewhere up there. Now something I will say is that this ship does make noises. She goes up and down with the tide. She expands and contracts with temperature change. So you hear creaking, groaning, whining. A lot of people hear that and immediately think it must be a ghost. Huh. A lot of it is just natural. That knocking up there though, I can only describe it as someone knocking. That's what it sounded like. I've never heard it before. I haven't heard it since. Now those of you who watch those shows will know that the investigators often shout things out like, you know, do something, let us know you're there. And he was asking that at the time. So maybe whoever was here was just, you know, responding. It's massive. <laughs> My God. So who's been to the engine rooms today? Anyone been to the engine rooms? I know some of you have been on the Stephen Steele tour. Um, now the story I'm about to tell you actually takes place in the engine rooms, which is further back on the ship. We don't have time to go there on this tour, we'd run out of time for other stories. Uh, but I'll tell you here because it has to do with one of these. If you look down there, that is a watertight door. Now where we just walked through, the doorway over there, that's not original, that was cut out here in Long Beach. So door, the doorway with the door in front of it, just down here. Um, there are 38 of these originally on the ship. A 39th was added later. 
They closed with 700 pounds of pressure per square inch. Wow. Water is not going to get through that. Now see here we have the wall, or the bulkhead. There's another one on that side. And they're all along the bottom of the ship. So beneath the ship, um, oh sorry, beneath the water line, the ship is split up into all these different rooms. The idea is safety. If there was an accident, and you know, Titanic's a classic example, water was rushing in, these doors would be closed. So each room is completely watertight. So if water was coming in this room, the room would fill up, and then the water's got nowhere to go once that room is full. Therefore, the ship can't take on any more water, so the ship stays afloat. Nothing in there. <laughs> just move. Right? No, nope, just move. So very cool. Look how thick these are. Oh my god. <laughs> it's crazy. It's like walking through like a cathedral or something. What? Oh, blood. Oh, there's a red dot over there. That's weird. A red flashing dot. Hmm. Was it roughly as dark as this? Uh, in the, in the... It's dark? Scary, scary. I see. I see. That was so cool. That was so worth it. And there's still more. I, I thought it was closing for a second. All right. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it smells now. <laughs> Where's uh, they have like a Ouija board somewhere? I guess they don't. It's hot in here. Yeah, it's, hard, it's very hot in here. You know, the good thing about getting haunted is that you get free AC. <laughs> it's true, right? <laughs> Yeah, so this room they have they had like the ball and the Ouija boards and like the little two sticks for you. Guys, this is the most haunted room on the ship. Yes. There's a bunch of YouTubers who did overnight challenges in here. Okay, so I'm, I'm just going to stand just next to you. Oh. Okay, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. okay, so there we go. <laughs> okay, um, there's no number on the door of this room, but the number is B340. The reason there's no number is because several years ago, after this room became quite well known, someone decided to take that number as a souvenir. We realised it's going to be an ongoing problem, so we didn't replace it. Uh, but anyway, back in the 70s and 80s, B340 was just another hotel room. Um, but management were noticing a pattern of complaints. Lights were turning on and off by themselves, water was turning on and off by itself, the plumbers and electricians would come along, they never found a problem. People reported luggage being emptied out. And then in 1988, a member of the housekeeping team was in here, she'd vacuumed, she'd cleaned, she put fresh bed sheets on the bed. The last thing she had to do was step out into the corridor to her cart, grab some towels and put them in the bathroom. So she's out of the room for, what, 10, 15 seconds? 
When she came back in, all of those fresh bed sheets were in a pile on the floor. So that was it. Management had had enough. They did not want a reputation as a haunted hotel. Ghosts are bad for business. So after that incident, the decision was made to close down B340. It then became an office for the finance team. Yeah, didn't go down too well that one. <laughs> they lasted six months and then they wouldn't come in here anymore. And after that, this was just left as an empty space. So yeah, obviously we did some research to see if we could find a cause for the hauntings going on in here. We found an interesting record from May 1966. There was a lady, a Mrs Barry, travelling on her own in this room. It's recorded that she got woken up in the night by someone pulling at the bed sheets. When she fully came out of her sleep, there was a man standing at the end of the bed. She screamed very loudly, she hit the button next to the bed which called the steward. A light would come on outside the room, the promise was the steward would be here within 60 seconds. But the steward happened to be in the corridor anyway, so he not only saw the light, he heard the scream as well. He came running straight to the room, let himself in. Mrs Barry was in here shouting about there being a man in the room. But there was no sign of anyone. The steward looked around anywhere this person could have hidden, nothing. He certainly hadn't left the room either. You, know, you would have seen him out there in the corridor. Anyway, this doesn't explain why this room is haunted. It's just another incident. In fact, I believe it is the first recorded case of paranormal activity on this ship. So we look back beyond May 1966, because we think something's definitely happened here. We're looking through our records, and it actually took quite a while, because we're coming up a complete blank. And then, of course, it dawned on us, that, hang on, by May 1966, the Queen Mary had been in operation for 30 years. And in 30 years, things change. Sometimes the numbering system was tweaked. Rooms were taken out of service to become storage rooms. And as you know, they started losing passengers to plane travel, they started knocking through small rooms to make big rooms, you know, make it a more inviting offer, if you like. So we looked at an original plan. We found B340 here used to be three different rooms. B222, B224, imagine the bathroom's not there, so that's space, and this B226. We then found a record from 1949. A passenger died, apparently in his sleep, in B226. So the theory now, he must be the person who does not like other people staying in this room. Anyway, word of mouth started spreading about the ship being haunted. People started coming to the ship asking if they could be taken to the haunted sites. <laughs> At first, management were very reluctant. You know, we're not doing ghosts, it's a unique hotel. And actually there was a period where staff here were not allowed to talk about ghosts, because we really didn't want to go down that route. But demand became so great that the tour was born. And here we are. <laughs> it's been very successful. <laughs> Management likes that. <laughs> so the next natural step, people started asking if they could stay inside a haunted room. So towards the end of 2017, the decision was made to refurnish B340. And we finally reopened on Friday the 13th of April 2018. Um, now since we reopened, there's been lots of activity reported in here. Um, an example, about three months ago, a couple were staying in this room. And actually told us they didn't believe in ghosts. They were just here to say that they'd stayed here. But at one point in the night, they made a phone call to the hotel desk. And they said something like, um, yes, we get it, it's the haunted room, but we're actually very tired now. Please, can you turn your special effects off? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it took a while to convince them there were no special effects in here. And there are no special effects in here. About five months ago, a lady stepped in through the door and she stepped straight back out again. And she said she felt a very heavy pressure on her chest as soon as she got in the room. Now that's something a lot of people have experienced in lots of haunted sites all around the world. And apparently if you keep walking, that pressure gets worse and worse and heavier and heavier. But she didn't get that far, she just, she's no way she's coming back in here. About 10 months ago, a member of the housekeeping team told me that she was in here cleaning. Her bucket was just on the floor, pretty much where you're standing there. And she told me the handle of the bucket got lifted up as if someone had hold of it, let go, clattered back down again. She said there was no one here. So, what? Watch your step as you head back outside. Interesting, right? <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of stories about cameras like not working in here either. But I don't see much. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Oh, I'll, 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 I'll back up. Yeah. Lay in the bed. No, I can't do that. Very cool. Are you doing it? Yeah. Well, at least you and me. Look scared. Oh, wait. Oh, you freaked me out for a second. I was like, whoa. <laughs> there's a lot of stories about the bathroom too, right? Like, um, there is a, there's a, that was the um, Bloody Mary thing in there. Bloody Ma oh, okay, Bloody Mary. Okay. 
Rocky's so excited. <laughs> Turns the corner. So oh. Yeah. 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 It's true. It's a very nice view. Oh wait, we can check the model if there's a. Oh, oh yeah, mean... you're right. There are stairways. Yeah. Okay. <gasps> Whoop. Normandy. Normandy. Oh, oh. I shouldn't do that. That's so like. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay because this new French meme that actually came out, where like they literally take a uh, normal normal oh. name. In English, they put it through uh, Google Translate for, good, for French, and and, and then it, it pronounced like no Darth Vader, Darth Vader, Darth Vader, Darth Vader. And then and they, and they, they, they Photoshop Darth Vader with like a with a, with a um, baguette and a mustache. <laughs> Darth Va Darth Vader, Darth Vader, <laughs> and it goes. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. Oh my god. What if it, what if the horn goes off right now? Imagine. People are sleeping on the ship. Imagine, like twelve o'clock. <laughs> yeah. Is it twelve o'clock? Huh? No, no, no. Oh. Eight. I said like, imagine at twelve o'clock. <laughs> I got a horn on my phone. That <laughs> That's crazy. This is OSHA violation. Darth Vader. Darth Vader. Darth Vader. I know, right? It's crazy. Yes. That's why they built this box. Yes, people don't. Yeah. That's why there's no dongy dong thing. You can hit it. That's what I was doing. <laughs> Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> Is that a rock? <laughs> a rock or like a metal ball? Where is he? Is he talking to someone? Yeah. Oh, he's vlogging. I kind of wish I brought my other lens, but whatever. Can I wish when what? I brought my other lens. Oh. <clears throat> I don't know if we can get in from this side. I know we can get in from that side. Let's go this way. I know. Actually, no, I don't know if that door's open. There. I think it is. It is. It is. We. Yeah, that's the problem. Do you guys get one more picture of me? I'm sorry. I just. I want, I want a picture of this. Here, give it to me, and I'll take a picture oh. of you. 
This right here, this hill right here for me? Yeah. I'd never. Oh, this. Here's the rest of my footage time on the way out. Oh. Oh my god, it's dark! I'll be so mean! <laughs> You're great. <coughs> what if, as a prank, they wax the floor? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we're heading out of the Queen Mary now. We're walking down the uh, port side promenade deck. This is what it looks like at night. Not much different from daytime, except there's almost nobody here. Pass by the uh, the uh, shops, the gift shops, and that's our exit right here. This has been a really amazing day. Sorry. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me today. Yes. Thank you, Alex. Thank thank you, Alex. Yeah. Thank you, Steve. That's great. Uh, time to leave. Abandoned ship. Abandoned ship. <laughs> Yeah, we all fall. <laughs> 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 <That's great>. <laughs> 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 you guys were in there. I was still on, yeah. on the ship. There was a way to like... What? To get like the, the whole sh side of the ship in view. Oh, that's across the street. <laughs> yeah. Well, the like, you know, looking aft. But it's <clears> like <throat> this is the best view you can get. Well, well I no, guess. Parking lot, yeah, I agree. No, I tried it this morning, remember? And it just didn't work. Wait, my camera. What? My... No, it's not the angle. It's that this building right here, this, oh, this I thing see. blocks the whole ship. We could always take a motorboat out. And just... <laughs> motorboat. <laughs> I like Alex, it's like this. This thing blocks the whole... Don't die, don't die, don't die. 